Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Lauren Ashburn. A federal judge is ordering the government to allow a pregnant 17-year-old undocumented immigrant to have an abortion. But the Trump administration is firing back. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. I was in contact with an official from Health and Human Services late last night after this ruling came down. I was told the Department of Justice would file an appeal, which it did, and now the judge's order is temporarily halted. But the teen immigrant, referred to as Jane Doe, could still get an abortion as early as tomorrow. Government attorneys have temporarily halted an abortion sought by a teenage immigrant being held in Texas. The 17-year-old girl is in a federal facility that shelters children who illegally enter the U.S. without a parent. It does not facilitate abortions. In a statement filed in court, the teen says, I do not want to be forced to carry a pregnancy to term against my will. Earlier this week, the ACLU brought the girl's case before a federal judge in U.S. District Court. The judge ordered the government to transport the teen to the nearest abortion provider, saying, Why is the fact that this is an abortion any different than if she was getting her tonsils out? The ACLU, who is representing the teen, praised the decision. At last, our client will be able to get the care she needs without federal officials standing in the way. The Department of Health and Human Services calls the ruling troubling and says it's considering, quote, next steps to ensure our country does not become an open sanctuary for taxpayer-supported abortions by minors crossing the border illegally. This really reminds me of the story behind Roe v. Wade. This pro-life leader says the teen's case could have a serious impact on policy for illegal immigrants seeking abortions. We will never help build up the broken rights of that young girl by undermining the rights of an unborn child. It just doesn't work that way. We've seen it in every human rights battle in our nation, that when there is true suffering, true human rights abuse, that you reach the root of the problem, and the root of the problem can never lead to the death of another human being. The president of Americans United for Life says the case has the potential to tear apart a core American value. One of which is the right to life. and. Um, and this case would try to um, try to rip all that away and try to convert us into what is essentially a safe haven for abortion. The litigation continues. If the appeals court lifts the stay during a hearing tomorrow morning, this teen might still be able to have an abortion Friday or Saturday. Lauren. Mark, do we have any more information about this teen or her background? Well, we know she is from Central America, but her name and country of origin have been withheld because she is a minor. We know that Health and Human Services tried to provide her with counseling options that one HHS official described as life-affirming. Now, the girl's lawyer says the teen wants an abortion in part because her parents had abused another sibling who was pregnant. Correspondent Mark Irons at the White House. Thank you so much. We will have more uh, analysis of this story coming up with Newsmax White House correspondent John Gizzi.